We are Rue des Grands Augustins in Paris, and when the war broke out, Picasso took a very important decision, which was to stay in Paris and continue to work here. Right at the Paris Liberation, he did this series of plantes tomates, which is very, very upbeat and, and very different from, from the rest of the still lives, which he did at the time. Picasso decided to stay in France. I mean, he could have flown, he was a, he was a very well-known artist at the time. He was considered a degenerate artist uh, by, the, by the Nazi. But he stayed in France as an act of resistance and he decided that the, the way that he would be a resistant was to continue to paint. He drew inspiration from his atelier, from the things surrounding him. But also this series was a way of showing the resilience of the, the, the Parisian people. He was not allowed to exhibit anything, and so all his production during the war was, in effect, a secret. So it was of great interest for the public to see what he had painting during this time. This is the atelier, which is in all the, the Cecil Beaton's photo in 1944. And this is where Picasso was visited by Americans coming to Paris because, you know, they wanted to see the great master. They wanted to see the great artist who had continued to paint through the whole war. He was the man to see, he was the man to visit. It was clearly very happy for them to be here. But also for him, I think it was probably a big shock after having lived you know, by himself for six years. And suddenly, he was very much uh, again the center of the attention. As always with Picasso, there are several stages of meaning in what he paints. You know, the plant tomate is not just a plant tomate. It's a, it's a symbol of, uh, of the uh, difficulties of the war and the ingenuity of the, the people who are planting their own food and resorting to their own resources to, to survive. Here you've got this very elegant plant uh, which is going through all the canvas. You've got the, the, the window and the light coming through the window and this big red tomato in the middle. It clearly shows that there's light at the end of the tunnel that after these years of darkness, finally, uh, you know, the, the, the lives can, can regenerate and, uh, and there are brighter things uh, ahead. Picasso created almost 2,000 works of art during this period. For him, it was a way of of continuing his life and not letting the, the, the German occupation and the war have too much impact on, on who he was. 